Hey, welcome to Wire Ender. Making some progress on the rocker arm change today. Uh, so I got these all lubed up. So some pre assembly lube. I got this Permatex Ultra Slick. Just so the, uh, you know, they're not running dry on the first startup. Uh, but these old ones, this is one of the old ones here. Check this out. See them, that groove? It goes along my fingernail. It's like it's at a slant. That's actually raised up. Okay. And what that's from is from this pivot. It has the lines in it, right? Well, this isn't supposed to have lines in it at all. These come smooth. So that's how much it worn. It's a good 15 thousandths of an inch that that is worn down. Now the pivots didn't wear. Only this part, the rocker itself wore. The pivots were actually good. I I wouldn't really use them, but um, they didn't look bad at all. But these things, every one of them too. It wasn't just one. It was, it was every single one. And you could tell, I mean, I'm a machinist. Uh, and I could tell it's about 15 thousandths of an inch that it wore. You can see the step in the side in the corner there. You know, I'd say about 12, 15 thousandths that, that worn in. So this should really help with power. You know, because the valves will be opening better more. Getting more air in. Um, I got all this stuff on uh, eBay, actually. I think the rocker kit, I got everything for under 100 bucks, even with the oil, too. The rocker arms and the bridges and the pivots all came as a kit. I think it was like 75 bucks. It's sealed power. Um, and the push rods were as a separate kit. And I think those are like 20 bucks for all 12 of them. So, pretty good deal. Um, and they got good reviews. It's sealed power, so that's what I went with. But I started doing a couple of them. Just loosely getting them in there. Okay. So those are just loosely in there. <coughs> it's kind of a pain getting them in there in one hand. Because you're holding five pieces all together at one time. And trying to get the screw in. You'll see in a second here. But while I was cleaning all this out, it took a long time to clean this up. Really long time. Um, I don't want to get anything down in them holes where the uh, lifters are at, where the push rods go through. So what I did was I took a paper towel like this, folded it, and I tucked it down in like two holes at a time. And every two holes I had a new paper towel. And it kept all the dirt out of there. So, just a little trick. So this is where I'm at anyway. I'm pulling this one up and out. But I want to be careful not to knock any dirt in there that's on the paper towel. So let me go grab a couple of push rods. I tried getting it in there without touching anything, without touching the walls. Let's go gently. If you go gently like that, it just finds itself right into the lifter. You'll know when you're in there too. It'll be a little suction. So, nice and easy. Still ain't in the right spot. Yeah, okay, hang on. Yeah, feel around, take your time, make sure those are in there. In their little spots in the lifter, make sure that. Let me grab these rockers here. Uh, 
bolts. This is the tricky part. It's probably not so bad if it's not to lift the Jeep. So I'm trying to do this holding five pieces at one time. Bolt off. These are at an angle, remember that. They don't go straight up and down. It's a slight angle. Goes a little bit that way to the driver's side. Just work it back and forth, get it all finger tight, keep going back and forth. Get these things in kind of where they're right over the valve there. I'd spin my push rod, make sure it's not wobbling or and it's in place. That's all I'm doing for now is just finger tighten all the rest of these. Then I'll come back and uh, torque them down to 19 foot pounds each. Uh, but that's going to take me a while to get to there. So I'm going to keep going with this for a couple minutes if you want to keep watching. Otherwise, this is all I'm going to be doing for about the next 45 minutes. So if you want to hang out, Couple more of these rods. Again, I try going without touching the walls, kind of like that operation game. Yeah, you know when you're in the right place. Yeah, take your time with that though. Make sure it's in there good. And you're confident that it's inside that lifter. Take your time with that. I hope my head wasn't that whole shot. So I'll grab another more couple set of these uh, rocker arms with the pivots. Drop the pivots down inside. Oh, I gotta grab something else, sorry. Bridge. Okay.
on these bridges they're they're made to fit inside them pivots so you'll know what I'm talking about when you see these things there's the pivots are slotted for these bridges to fit any slots on them so make sure those are in there good too nothing's crooked those are in their slots and let's keep going to the next one rods and I'll end the video after this one so again nice and gently in there Take your time, find that <coughs> lifter hole. Make sure you're in it. set of rockers oh, I didn't bring the bolts Get the bolts real quick. And the bridge. So I'm gonna end this video here. So I can finish this up. I'm just gonna go back and snug it down. Then come back with a torque wrench and torque it all down to 19 foot pounds. And then whatever I do after that, I'll record that neck for the next video. Alright, this is why you're in there. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.